it's an exciting day today because the mail came and I got a package from Timu. And I thought, well, I thought I would open it. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, why don't I share it with you? It's, as you can see, it's not a huge one, but I think it's mostly art supplies. You know how you order something, then you forget what you order and then you order more. And then anyway, I think it's mostly art supplies. So I'm going to share it with you and let's see what's in here. All right, let's get in the end here. They sure tape them up well. Okay, big scissors called for. Now, if you're not familiar with Timo, it's T-E-M-U dot com, and it's a marketplace where all kinds of, of suppliers and wholesalers um, post their things and you can order it in one spot all kinds of things like it's amazing how much stuff there is how come I got two of those Okay, I will get rid of the stuff that's not art supplies. These are for cleaning the blinds in my house. And I have I have blinds in virtually every room. And I thought, you know, they're so hard to dust. I would get one of these, but I didn't realize it was a set of two, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, maybe I accidentally ordered two. But that's okay, because, like I said, I've got lots of blinds. So that's not very art-related. I ordered these, which are water brushes, because I have a couple already, but I thought, you know what, I want to have more on hand, because I want to start doing some more sketching and, and painting in other places, and these are all different different kinds. This one's got a little, little tank, so this would be nice if you just, you don't have much space. This shape, that's different, so if you want to do like a wash and, um, on a on a whole page. That would work well. Tuck those back in there. And another square, a flat brush. Has a bit of a, an angle on it. I don't know if I'll use all of these or not, but they were a really good deal, so I thought I'll, I would just get them and try them. It's another sort of flat one. A bigger brush they're great for for washes when you want to cover a larger area and then these appear to be all kind of the same so what that means for me is that I can have one in every case this one's a finer one smaller brush so that way if I don't have to move stuff around if I want to go somewhere quickly and go paint outside then um, I can just grab one of the sets and away I go. So there's those ones and then this one. It's funny because I've ordered things and then you know you get an order with a few things in it and I've ordered a few clothes and they don't fit and I send them back and then I get a, a credit. Like you can get a refund but a credit's faster and I thought well I'll probably order from them again anyway. So you get a credit and then you, you go, then they remind you you have your credit. So you go and spend your credit and end up spending buying more things and you know that's how it goes. Okay so I got these because I keep not being able to find these all over the house and same same with those right. So these are Micron Graphic in different sizes so there's I'll show you let's see let's just get them all out here all right um, and they have the size on them where on the lid so the small the smallest one is a zero zero five so I'm gonna go from the smallest to the bigger so that's what that line is like. And then zero one, a little bit heavier. They're sure tight. 
zero two. But I like really fine lines, so I'm glad they're mostly not very heavy. Zero three. You can see the difference as I go. Um, zero five. and a zero 08. So I had this credit, so I went back and I thought I'd forgotten completely what I'd ordered because it's a few weeks, right? And I thought, I really want to get some Micron pens and some water brushes. So I put those in my order and I, and I had actually checked out, but they always say, you sure you don't want to add more to your order? And I went and looked at my other order that was in the mail already, and I went, oh my goodness, I already ordered those things, the same things. I thought, well, obviously I know what I want, but I had to take them off the order, make all those adjustments and whatnot. Anyway, I've got some good art supplies there, and this is a sketchbook. Let's see. So excited. I want one of these. Oh my goodness, it's very well taped up. How do I get in here? Okay. It gets me that far. I was just about to go out the door too to go somewhere and I thought oh you know what I'm gonna go and I'll check the mail first because I when I was having lunch today I would I saw the, the mail delivery go by okay there's that part done and and then I thought oh I'll open all this stuff and then I thought wait a minute why don't I just turn my camera on and share it so with my with my credit, I ordered some other art supplies, which should be here next week. And because of that switching back and forth, I ended up with another credit. So I'm like, oh, all right, which is fine. Like I said, they have lots of things that you can like and want, and the prices are always good. Ooh. A watercolor book. Yes, I was. I wanted one this size for a long time. Instead of having, like, I've got lots of watercolor paper, but sometimes you want everything in the, in the same place. Okay, let's get this off here. Don't want to gouge the book or the paper or anything. There we go. Nice hard cover. And an elastic closure. One corner got a little bit bumped. Oh well, by the time I start using it, it'll probably get more bumped. More bumping. Has a lot of uh, language I don't know. So, original wood pulp paper. Medium coarse grain, hardboard, double-sided seal, hardcover, 34 pages, and it's um, 230 GSM, so it's not, it's not as thick as I usually use, but one thing I, I wanted was something that opens like this and has um, the sewn-in binding, so you can actually just paint right across. So how many signatures are there? There's another one. And then it also has this ribbon. So you know where you left off. Well, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I think it's absolutely lovely. And if I had water here, which I don't have because I cleaned everything up a little while ago and dumped out all my water, but I would give it a try. But I can't wait to get into this. And, you know, one advantage, I guess, of having it not be quite so such heavy paper is that if I want to use it for mixed media I can do that. I thought since I got this new sketchbook 
which is a watercolor sketchbook. I would just swatch some colors so that I can get a feel for the paper because this paper is a little bit lighter than what I usually use. I usually use 140 pound paper or 300 GSM and this is 200 and something I forget does it even say 230 GSM. So this is the regular palette that I work with and I thought I would just swatch some of these. I'm not going to do white because for obvious reasons that won't really help anything but this is just the first page and what I'm going to do is just go through the colors and not talk about it and then uh, at the end I'll come back on.
A lovely sight to see when you first open a sketchbook. Talk about inspiring. I expect to have a lot of fun together with this sketchbook and I've got another one coming too because we're going to start doing more sketches and more watercolor and more all kinds of things that I think you're going to really love. And what my goal is is to keep it fun, keep it easy, and keep learning. So I'll see you next time.